Good morning, State Line. The roller coaster ride of temperatures and weather is going to continue over the next few days. We saw quite a bit of rain yesterday, so much so that it was a record rainfall here in Rockford. But dry conditions today, a tranquil Tuesday under mainly cloudy skies throughout much of the area before a wildly warm Wednesday is in store tomorrow. Temperatures tomorrow well above average. Last night, a line of showers and storms moved through the area, dumped all that heavy rain, but it since pushed off to the east, but it left a lot of rain in its wake. Some flood advisories and flood warnings for the Rock River and a flood warning as well for the Pecatonica River. So do keep an eye on the river levels over the next few days as they will be nearing flood stage in many locations. Speaking of the record rainfall yesterday, we picked up 1.65 inches of rain here in Rockford, just shy of 1.2 inches in Freeport and nearly 2 inches in Monroe. The old record in Rockford was 1.55 inches of rain set back in 1926, but add the new record to the record books, 1.65 inches of rain fell throughout the day yesterday. No rain throughout much of the area this morning, just mainly cloudy skies here on our Mercy Health Sky Cam overlooking Rochelle. The cloudy skies are going to stick around throughout the day today and overnight hours tonight with temperatures currently right around 54 degrees and a northwesterly wind at 7 miles an hour. That wind will pick up throughout the overnight hours tonight and into the day tomorrow, gusting upwards of 40 miles an hour tomorrow afternoon. Warming it up through the 50s into the low and mid 60s by the noon hour, topping out right around 65 degrees today. Slightly below average, but above average temperatures are in store going into the day tomorrow. 50s throughout much of the area, low and mid 50s are the story, and we'll warm it up slightly into the mid 60s this afternoon. Cloudy skies throughout the area, clouds moving through, and that's dominating the story. Wider view, though, you can see the rain that moved through last night pushing off to the east, and we're left with mainly dry conditions. Isolated shower possible over the next few hours, but otherwise dry conditions. We're stuck in between a very strong trough out to the west and a very strong ridge over the southeast, and that's what's helped put us in the middle of this active weather pattern, providing showers and storms throughout our neck of the woods throughout the rest of the work week and into the weekend. Speaking of the trough out west, they're actually dealing with Tropical Depression Rosa over portions of Arizona, dumping some well-needed rain across the southwest. For us locally, cloudy skies are going to be the story throughout the day today. An isolated shower early possible, then mainly cloudy skies tonight with some scattered showers throughout the overnight hours and into the start of the day on Wednesday. Showers become more likely throughout the afternoon hours as we get a cold front sliding into the air. You can see showers and storms making their way through late Wednesday and into the start of the day Thursday, but then drying it out Thursday afternoon, turning partly cloudy. Your forecast for the rest of today, warming it up to right around 65 degrees, low weather risk, just an isolated shower early, otherwise cloudy skies. Tonight, cooling it down just slightly into the upper 50s, low 60s, mainly cloudy with scattered showers late. Winds start increasing out of the southeast, 10 to 15 going with an 83 high temperature tomorrow, warm and breezy, showers and storms possible late, gusts tomorrow upwards of 40 miles an hour. The warm temperatures are short-lived, back down into the low 70s by Thursday with partly cloudy skies, more rain Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday temperatures remaining in the low 70s, then bouncing back up into the upper 70s by next Monday. Emily and Jay, over to you guys.